reading sensor man. I don't do food reviews, but this will, since this will be the last meal, the last meal at Reading Sea Mall in Jacksonville, Florida. If you're at Eat Here one last time, spend one last dollar here supporting this legacy, legendary, epic, amazing at one point mall in Northeast Florida, Jacksonville, Florida, Duval County. So we have a boba tea. Tokyo Chinese restaurant. In the backdrop we have this glorious view of the flags and the boat. And uh, we'll get to it. We got the combo which is chicken and shrimp and beef. Chicken is good. The beef. He's pretty good. I ask for recommendations. I always ask for recommendations from customers. And uh, if I'm on the fence, I'll ask people that work there. And they should be honest. The shrimp. The shrimp are really good. We've got vegetables and noodles. Some of broccoli. It's good. Cabbage. And then the noodles. They say always get the noodles and not the rice. It's good. It's different. This area behind us, this way, actually, this this way, that way, to the left of the screen was the movie theater. And the, I don't know if it was in the 70s, but I remember the 80s. I wasn't born in the 70s, but in the 80s I remember going to it in the 90s. Early 90s, the last movie I saw there was The Crow. And they had a River Cup arcade game and something else in the little hallway that leads up into the theater from the food court. This used to be, this used to be second floor. Apparently at one point, there was a Chick-fil-A here, that's a long time ago, in the food court. I don't remember that. But end to end in this mall, they had Sears, J.C. Penney's, Dillard's. I can't remember. I think, I think he was Dillard's. You walk through, and they would assault you with perfume. And I thought that was really mean. I thought it was one of the meanest things in life. I I dodged them. I don't know why they would spray it at us. I guess they were, you know, hating life. I don't know why they thought it was cool that we wanted to smell it. But apparently, some people wanted to smell it before they bought it but I was a kid so don't why are you spraying perfume at me Radio Shack uh, was two places it was a go to place for certain things Hula Hands was my favorite restaurant that was uh, th three quarters of the way up the mall that way that way. Had an outside and inside entrance. Then there's a Mexican restaurant. Across the hall. When you went in there was a there was a photo store. Wolf, I believe is what it was. My dad was in a photography. He he had to for his work. There was electronic boutique and Babbage's. Babbage's had more 
PC software and not so popular consoles. For instance, at one point they had a 3DO uh, ISA adapter card for your for your PC, which I thought was such an odd anomaly because you're either a PC gamer or a console gamer, especially at that point. And uh, they, I mean, I, I did have a 3DO at that point. I, uh, my first job was cutting yards, and then I uh, saw 3DO in a pawn shop, and they, they had games I liked. Samurai Showdown. Street Fighter 2, uh, the, the first Need for Speed. I don't know what's moving behind me. It's not a big deal. There are people here eating here for lunch. It's convenient. It's, uh, when this lunch area was open and and happening uh, it was convenient versus hustle bustle drive throughs and restaurants you know, people still take their lunch breaks here now going down the mall next to Ele Babbage's there was a random electronic store and it was one of the only places in town that actually sold TurboGrafx-16 And the only game that ever had it up, up to it was Bonk. And then further down the mall through Sears was a, it was just software. It was only a software store. And that was really the heyday of when you got boxes and games and instructions and, and the huge boxes. And they had, at that point still, three and a quarter dead, three and a quarter floppies. There was um, a CD store at the end of the mall. Uh, around this region, there was a hot, a hot topic. At one point, this mall had basically everything restaurants, um, Annie's pretzels, candy shops, um, Victoria's Seekers here. Um, another, right when HDTV came out, there was a little electronic store that's really trying to hustle satellite television and HDTVs. There's a coffee shop in the middle before coffee shops got pretty popular. Got a text from a friend of mine just now. He said Sakura Sakura restaurant will be here for till the end of time apparently. It's probably the best meal I've ever had at Regency Mall in the food court. Oh, I should have tried my boba by now. You'll wait till the 904 mark of this video to try my boba. It'll be my Duval moment of the day. And around here, there was CompUSA, uh, Sports Authority or Sports Limited, I can't remember. Mountasia, it's the best mini golf in Florida history. One of the best arcades, they had Mortal Kombat 3, the moment it came out. And here we are, it's at 9.04, putting the, well, it's going to fit wow, really. Boba. It's mocha. It's wow. <laughs> it's pretty good. I haven't a, had a boba in a long time. I spoiled with it in Seattle two years. Uh, a watch of my uh, the boba around there is pretty good. Yeah, let's put in the shot. There we go. Mm. Get that tapioca. 
So in the mid-90s, they moved the movie theater out, and it's still, it's just eyesight away. And at that theater, the first two games I remember vividly were two different eras. It was Battle Zone, which is a vector, uh, black and white or black and green vector, uh, vector game. And I, it's the only time I've ever seen a Battle Zone. It was already 10 years old, at least. And then they had Soul Edge, not Soul Calibur, Soul Edge. Um, that was the first of the Soul Calibur series. Soul Edge. Uh, that was that's a it's a pretty good game for back then. Polygons. I remember some of the games that were in arcade here. This was the, the first place. The first place I played Virtual Fighter and Zero Showdown and Hard Driving. Which if you could. If you could play hard driving as a kid, you're probably going to get your driver's license with ease. They had a Street Fighter EX, and they, they didn't last long because that, that bombed miserably. People didn't like it for some reason. It looked cool. Oh, and that tilt, just over there, off, just over there, off screen. The Primal Rage. In a bigger cabinet, bigger. Uh, it was a bigger setup, the 30 something inch two monitor then. Now, the game's really mediocre, it's not that good, but it's fun to watch. It's fun to watch, it's silly. It was. The buttons were backwards, like you had to hold the button and let it go. And so, you know, rolling the button, rolling the joystick and the button, it was backwards. It's hard to know what they're doing. But Jurassic Park was really popular around then, so it's that was kind of a genius idea to do dinosaur fighting. So let's hit the bobo. Trying to think of other memories here. In this area of Regency, there's still stuff going on. There's still Burlington Coat Factory from the past, Chuck E. Cheese from the past. Every uh, generic fast food is around McDonald's and Burger King. Target's around the cor corner, Walmart's around the corner. Yeah, they really got obliterated by competition of other commerce around here. Discount Tire, two Asian buffets, Starbucks. Oh. And at one point, there was two movie theaters. After it left this Regency Mall and moved it a few blocks away, at one point near, um, I remember vividly seeing The Matrix. Yeah, there were some shenanigans during that movie theater experience. That's the, around that time, up the road on Atlantic Boulevard was a movie theater and then another movie theater was over here. So that was, there was a lot going on then. One of my fond memories, late 90s, early 2000s, was Incense Lady. So she sold, uh, she's one of the people in sound that sold all types of incense, the cones. And she hustled, she really did. She was right there, kind of in front of you know, Babbage's in a, in a few stores over. In, in the middle, the one that's a little, little small middle, uh, uh, Island kiosk. Oh yeah, and they had the nature store where you could buy like hippie rocks and necklaces and crap. Then there was a car stereo place that was around the middle too. They, they gave it a good run. A Disney store was here at one point. Best Buy was around the corner. Circuit City was around the corner. Oh yeah, and at one point in the 90s, service merchandise was around the corner. So at all times, there was competitors around here for spending their money. Toys R Us was visible from the 80s and 90s to 2000s from this mall. Oh, real talk, in the 90s, the banger, as the kids say, the best 
toy shop in Jacksonville, Florida history was Lionel Toys. It's now where a skating rink is. And they had everything. And they had toys to the ceiling. They even had, they even had Neo Geo's there, the, the home version. And so I'm looking up and I see a thousand, fifty hundred dollar console and two, three hundred dollar games. My mind was blown. Who the hell spends that? But uh, it's funny as that console, at least the games kept their value the past 30 years. There were computer stores near Lionel Toys as well. Uh, but yeah, this was, in the 90s, this was, this was a hot area. Now the area next to it's called Sin City. It's just a dilapidated, it was mostly trailers then. Some crime. Some of this and that. The next to it was around the area was Kona, which is still there. It's been there for 40 years. But that's that's a region that's next to here. Uh, that's gradually been gentrified. They level each trailer one by one, pop up a cardboard house, and uh, rent it to people. Which you know that area is going to be uh, not nice, but nice-ish someday. Regency Mall is located just one straight shot down Atlanta Boulevard from the beach. Also, if you take Atlanta the other way, it is a straight shot to downtown. So this is a very optimal location. It really is a, a, a optimal. Uh, the expressway you can go to is the closest way to get downtown. Me, there's enough population density from here to the river uh, to sustain this mall, or was. Later on, um, this mall and all the, this mall and avenues are surrounded by there's a region called 9A, it's called 295 now, and it, it loops around most of uh, the populace. It's just up the road from here. I, I can't remember what it is. I, I believe there's TGI Fridays. Deadpool 1 movie yeah, with one of the random characters. Deadpool, they reference Deadpool and a, a random character reference in TGI Fridays and Regents in Jacksonville, Florida, which would have been the one that's got uh, leveled. If it's if it's TJF, uh, I believe it's the one that's leveled and becoming a Starbucks. If it's Ruby Tuesdays, I can't remember. That one's still open. I think it was TJF though. I thought they were just going to let this place, I, I thought if they turned this whole parking lot into a, a flea market on weekends, I thought it would kill, because these parking spots are not used at all. And uh, till arcade that was over there. I remember uh, Tekken 5 vividly. I remember they always had two pinball machines. DDR was really, really, really popular. Oh, shout out to uh, what should be a hit by now that's not. There's a song, music video for Supernova. It's called Move Over for Move Over Supernova. Move Over for Move Over for Move Over for Supernova. It's on YouTube. It's a banger. It's a classic. Um, cameos by people that work at the tilt then. Move over for supernova. Move over for supernova. It's a banger. You know, what else to say? Yeah, there is uh, Spencer's at all times. Around the corner, there was a CD warehouse. Uh, 
So this region at one point had everything. Now, Texas was the largest area code land, land mass in the 48 states for a, for an area code, well, not for area, for a county. And, um, Largest area code, our largest landmass of a county in the 48 states. So I'm tired. So it's a long way to get from certain things in town. Not every area of town has most things. Most neighborhoods have everything, but Regency had this Regency Arlington area had everything at one point. Everything, everything. Jacksonville gets a little better every year, regardless of what anybody says. If you have any memories about reading them, I'll post in the comments. That's pretty good. That's I worked on it some. I like growing up here. I like living here. I've been coast to coast. Some of Mexico, Canada, England, and Jacksonville is home to me. That's the 904 and my 904 pinball zine, man. I could have done my business somewhere else. Not anywhere else, but somewhere else. But I believe Jacksonville, Northeast Florida area, you know, Atlantic Beach, Jacksonville Beach, Callahan, St. Augustine, Uly. This was my best option. I have uh, not much more to say. It's not sad. This place has been mostly dead for a long time. But, um, cheers. Like, share, and subscribe. And, um, goodbye, Regency Mall.